You got 30 grand cash I can borrow? Bare bones. What is this? For you, sir. Oh. <laughs> this shit fucking hurts my soul, man. Another issue is the body is fucked. It needs 10 grand of body work. Fuck. Easily 10 grand. 10 grand, way more than that. Right. That's definitely going to significantly affect the value of the car. Would you agree? Yeah, not really. I, I told you this. We're going to go look at another car. What do you mean another car? We're going to go look at another GTR. Uh, you... You just came back from Idaho. I know, and now we're going to Mass. And I'm, you know what? So you're gonna buy a second GTR. We're gonna go look at a second GTR. And you know what? Just cause you said that, I, we might go look at one next week too. Oh. As a matter of fact. So right now we're headed to Andrew's shop. We're gonna load up the truck and the trailer, grab a couple of tools. Actually, you just reminded me, I gotta call him as a matter of fact. Yo. What's going on, sir? I need to ask you a favor. All right. You got 30 grand cash I can borrow? Not at the moment. The ATM is not going to let me pull out that much of my bank's closed right now. So I have a problem. If my bank was open 100%. I found this car on Marketplace last night. Obviously, banks weren't open. I tried to go to Chase earlier. Banks aren't open today regardless. So you understand that having cash in hand means you have the most leverage? Like, it doesn't look very of good course. when you negotiate the guy 4K down and then he agrees to it. And then you're like, all right, cool. I'll be back tomorrow. So yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I can get him the money tonight and we could leave with the car tonight. Cause like, I don't really want to give him a thousand dollars cash tonight to come back tomorrow because then he, I could just be out a thousand. He could just block me. What's the fucking limit for PayPal and for Venmo? Because if it's like 10 grand or something, then we can do it between the two of us. I can easily give you four grand cash out of my safe right now. Between you and me, that's five grand. We just need another 20, 25 grand, bro. He has another guy coming at seven or eight or some shit. So what happened with the first people, by the way? So he's fucking lying. He said- yeah, no shit, A hundred percent. He was like, oh, I'm gonna tell the other two people to come later then. Cause I want you to come first and see it. I'm like, okay, so person one and person two never fucking existed. You can't play the game. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. All right, so my ETA is four o'clock. I'll meet you at the shop. Yeah, man, that sounds good. All right, brother, I'll see you there. Yeah, I'm good, sir. Later. Peace. What's up, baby? Hold on, G. How are you, man? Hmm? Good to see you, sir. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab the shit and get the fuck out of here. I don't really trust this guy. He bought it from some guy in New York, has mass plates on it. He's got a mass title, supposedly. Yeah. Do you have a title on you right now? For what? Anything. No. But you'll be able to take a look at a mass title. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. Like, I can. Because I, I don't know what a mass title looks like. You know it, what I mean? Like, yeah. No, you can tell. Like bare bones. What is this? For you? Oh. For you, sir. Oh. <laughs> all right. That's all I had at home. Just hang on to this for a minute. All right. That's just got like all general hand tools in it. Yeah. Good. This is beautiful. Yeah. Tool set gone. Gun will just speed it up a little bit. Couple of flashlights. Lights. Yep. And we got the compression tester. What is this for? This is OBD1 Nissan plug before they were all standardized. Should we bring air fresheners with us in case it smells like a fucking 30 year old dusty Nissan? No, bro, that's the best smell. What do you mean? It smells just like grandma's house, it's man, not every time. It's Crayola smell. It's a good Japanese, like, smoker, you know what I'm saying? So we need to figure out the money situation, we need to figure out the tow situation. All we have to do is, I'll call AAA. I'll say I was riding passenger in his car, and he wants to get his car towed to the shop. That's it. Yeah, hopefully, we get some young kid who's just all psyched up that he gets to tow a GTR and he just doesn't question shit. Yeah, we do. We try and do AAA. Worst comes worst if we have to pay for a tow. Yeah. It's probably 200 bucks yeah. from there to here. It's not that far. All right, let's get it. Let's grab a shit. We out. It says I'll be there at 546. Alright, cool. I'll see you there. Peace. I hate that he did the LED taillights and left the fucking turn signals. Because usually when people do that on these, they make the running lights become the turn signals. I think he bought it that way. Probably. Hey, dude, he got the car two months ago. Right. He didn't do anything. The only thing he did was like put it something in like a down pipe exhaust and he got it tuned or something. I'm not used to seeing them with all the
the factory and yeah, it's still here. Yeah. It's been I a while since I've seen it. Very nice. Oh, this shit fucking hurts. <laughs> this shit fucking hurts my soul, man. Andrew, do we bring anything I can lay down on? We did not. It's one thing we didn't think about. Bring what? Something to lay down on. Should have brought a blanket. Yeah. Oh, shit. Cardboard. Ground's wet everywhere. Oh. They usually have side skirts. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. But I honestly, I don't like them just because it makes it look too, um, right. it looks like an S14 or yeah. something. Like, I don't know. I love the lines on the GTRs. I just love the factory well, this, body this lines. Not, this is not like the, the, the factory side skirts. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, they do come with side skirts, and the fact that like they start coming off over here. Yep. And then starts puddling water. That's what gets the. Yep. All the water the sits rock. in there, and they rust. <laughs> this guy. Your homeboy went to McDonald's. Things clearly been sitting, hasn't been driven a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, the paint is ass. Paint's terrible. Right. Because I honestly, dude, if that car looked good, if the paint was proper, the trim looked good, it didn't the, have rust. quarters or anything like right. that. Mid forties. Yeah, forty to fifty. Here's the thing: the hundred sixty thousand miles on the title, you know his bitch ass waited to tell me that because now I'm here. Another issue is the body is 
fuck. It needs 10 grand of body work. Fuck. Easily 10 grand. 10 grand, way more than that. Right. To do it right more. Way more than that. It's going to cost the car to fix, to do the body work. I mean, like, dude, they fucking drilled holes and riveted the side skirts. No, on I know, it. but honestly, it's like a Japanese culture thing. Like, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if that was done in Japan yep. by some owner. Dude, it looks like fucking S14 kooky I side know. skirts. Literally, this kid asked me when I get in the car, he's like, bro, does he know how to drive stick? Why would Not the kid, that? his friend. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? What is he talking I was like, about? Eric's the best fucking driver I know. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking, bro? You drive a fucking 3-2 Audi convertible? So what did he say? He was like, it seemed like he didn't really know how. And I was just like, maybe because he's not used to driving fucking right-hand drive cars and shifting lefty, but... uh, Yeah, I don't like these guys. I'm not buying the car. I don't care bro, if the this, car this is money. Bro, this kid's fucking 25 if the car driving... Is fucking perfect. Driving if a I don't like the guy, I will not buy the car. That's my number one rule. And I want to stick by that. What I'm going to do... Is I'm just gonna call him. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh. All right, cool. Mechanically, I think the car is great. Sounds great. I wish you had told me about the 160,000 miles on the title before we came, because I think that would have changed whether I was gonna come or at least I would have negotiated a price with you before. That's definitely gonna significantly affect the value of the car. Would you agree? Mm, not really, because that's the way I got it. That's the way it's been. So here, here, here's my issue, man. To someone who's not planning to keep this car forever, if we ever want to resell it, it's going to be real hard. No one gives a fuck about what story I tell them about how the DMV yeah. messed it up from kilometers to miles. That's the big red flag here is the fact that the mileage is 60,000 miles off. You get what we're saying, though, right, in terms of resale value? Yeah, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing is like, obviously I knew this going into it, but there's a lot of body work that needs to be done more so than I expected. I mean, between those two, there's no way I'm going to be at 30. Yeah, that's fine. I understand where you're coming from, but there's no way um, I can take uh, less than that because I have, I have multiple offers. But uh, I appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Yeah, bro, the title's only off by 60K. It doesn't affect the value. Yeah, it doesn't matter. What the fuck? So the idea was buy that car, right? Steal what we want off Steal it. what we want the off it. I learned that from you. <laughs> and then put one back to stock and sell it for bread. I think some dumbass will pay 30K for oh, that car. Oh, Someone definitely will. They'll come. They won't inspect anything. Right. They'll see it and just be so wild. Right, by, right, Oh, my right. God. This is an R32 GTR. Right. They'll drive right. it. It'll be fun. And they'll just buy it. So we learned, uh, we learned a good lesson today. What was the lesson we learned? Before we drive many hours to go see a car that we're interested in buying, we're gonna have them send us a picture of the title. Because uh, what some people think is uh, irrelevant or unimportant is a deal breaker for Yeah, us. so this guy basically, the car had 160,000 kilometers on it, but the DMV, when he went to go register, it made a mistake, and they put 160,000 miles on it. Now that greatly affects value. This guy seemed to not think so. Fuck like a fucking moron. And then on top of that, the car was super rusty. There was no point to compression test it. If you look at the value of like what your insurance will pay out on that car with 100,000 miles versus 160,000 miles, those are two very different numbers. Put it this way, I wouldn't have driven fucking six hours total to go see but. the car. I am glad that man's fucking liar because I got to see Mr. Chow today, which is a rare occurrence for us. You guys ever met a carpenter that had baby soft hands? Because <laughs> that was a first for me. <laughs> there were so many red flags to this guy. He said that he got it that way from the guy from New York. But the guy from New York was the first owner of the car in America and had had it for seven years. How the fucking seven years he didn't drive more than a thousand miles makes no fucking sense to me. And this guy tried to tell me that he had three buyers lined up for today. Apparently either none of them showed up or none of them had cash in hand. Or they didn't exist. One of Correct. Them. Literally. <laughs> you Correct. can't bullshit a bullshitter. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. The next time we'll be back in this garage will be next week when we take delivery of that first GTR. All right, bro. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Good to see you. All right, bro. Let me know when uh, the GTR is arriving, and I'll uh, make sure to have some lot space cleared up for it and smoke it over, see what it needs, and get some parts ordered, and go from there. All right, bro. Sounds good, man. Drive safe. Peace.